this issue of, yeah, well, you pick and choose. My religion says that being gay, bi, trans, lesbian is a sin. Your religion also says that having sex during your period is a sin. How come you ignore that? Your religion also says that eating bacon is a sin. How come you ignore that? Your religion also says eating lobster is a sin. Cutting the sides of your hair is a sin. Wearing clothes made out of mixed fabrics is a sin. Getting a tattoo is a sin. A man trimming the edges of his beard is a sin. You run all over to Leviticus and these other places, and you talk about an abomination, but then, you know, you'll eat shell shellfish, and, you know, and you'll cut the edges of your beards, and you'll sow different seeds in your fields, and certainly anybody, 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 anybody heard this? Anybody heard this? That if a woman is not a virgin on her wedding night, she's to be stoned to death, and that planting two different kinds of seeds in the same field is a sin. But that's too hard for you, so you've decided that God didn't mean any of that. He only meant the being gay part. Listen, if you're going to spread hatred towards others by quoting the Bible at them, make sure that you first follow the entire thing or shut the entire up. Language. And then for most Christians, they just start going, wah, 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 wah. Let me help you. There are three types of laws in the Bible. There is moral law that is forever binding on all people in all places in all times. We have this summarized for us in the Ten Commandments. There are also civil laws. These civil laws were for the nation of Israel as a nation in the ancient Near East. These laws expired with the nation of Israel, but they are still of general equity because they're based on those moral laws. Thirdly, we had the ceremonial laws. These ceremonial laws were laws that were designed to do two things. Number one, identify Israel as God's unique people, worshiping him uniquely in their context, and secondly, to point forward to the person and work of Christ. So when you talk about cutting the edge of the beard, you're actually talking about ceremonial law and Israel not being like the nations around them. When you're talking about their dietary laws, you're talking about Israel not being like the nations around them. When you talk about civil laws, you are right. We are not bound by those as they are, but they are of general equity. This is why in our own laws, we refer to things like negligent homicide, which in Leviticus would say, if your ox gores someone, you're accountable for what your ox has done. You don't have an ox, but you have other things that can hurt people. So we still have that same principle, which is based on our upholding of the sixth commandment. So the reason I pick and choose from the Old Testament is because number one, New Testament writers do that and teach me how to do that. Number two, Christ has come and we are under the new covenant. However, he has fulfilled the whole law and he has actually enabled me to keep the moral law. The moral law hasn't gone anywhere. So it is still wrong for you to murder me or me to murder you. It is still wrong to commit adultery. It is still wrong to steal. All of these things remain. So it is because I understand how the Bible is written and I use the Bible carefully that I don't just pick and choose according to what I like, which is the exact opposite of what you are doing. So I have a better question for you. You wanted to know why I pick and choose certain parts of the Bible. I can explain it to you in painstaking detail and it gets to an authority that's higher than me. But what I want to know is this. Why is it that you get to pick and choose from the Bible? And you don't know why, and you don't know how, and whatever you choose is what you happen to want at the moment. And what's better for our society? People who decide what's right based upon what they want at the moment, or people who understand and recognize that there is a law higher than themselves and who submit and subject themselves to that law. You answer that for me and then we can go back to our discussion on same-sex marriage.